one and three quarter ounces of gin. Done. Now we need half an ounce of maraschino liqueur, oh, as you like to call it. What a lucky break. I brought some of it along. Oh, your Luxardo, right? <laughs> yes, good Luxardo. Your maraschino liqueur. What color is this drink supposed to be? Oh, it's white in the picture, but it will yeah. be white because it's got grapefruit juice in it. Yeah. But, uh... That. And, and then you need a just a quarter ounce of grapefruit juice. Oh, only a quarter ounce? Only a quarter oh, ounce. Oh, I'm glad I bought a, a <laughs> yeah. two liters of it. Yeah. Well, you can make yourself some of the... If, if this drink turns out to be good, then you got something you can make tonight for... Uh, before dinner. Your before dinner drink. Yes, I'll break up the stuff. Oh, I think I got too much in there. Let me have a little... Ew, gross. <laughs> Ew, really gross. Yeah, that's a, it's a quarter ounce. Yeah. A lot of your better bartenders will do, do that. Do that. They don't want to, you know, get the proportions all <laughs> wonky. All right, and put them add some lovely ice. And you're going to shake it? Yes, in my tiniest cocktail shaker. Yeah. I heard they ever use this cocktail shaker. Yeah. But uh, I thought, I'm going to bring it out today because I don't want to have to rinse that other one out. We don't have... Fred to do our bidding for us, <laughs> yeah, or to fill the silence with yeah. nonsense. Although he's not being really very good at filling silence. No. As soon as he stands up to do something, he goes, "Oh, yeah," he just freezes. Yeah. He does the same thing on stage. Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. There you, there you go. Well, let's pour a little shot in here for you to have. Put that lid in there. And this, uh... oh, actually, this looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is quite white. Yeah, it's, um, very similar to the, the picture. That, uh... In fact, even a little bit whiter, I think, than what's in Ted's book. Yeah, but I think with, does he have a mint spring in the picture too? He does have a mint spring. Okay, there. well then we're gonna do a mint spring. Uh, yeah, I'll put this little one in your little sample one, mm -hmm. and I'll give it one of these. Oh yeah, you gotta just whack to it there. Open some mint up a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing. I guess I'll just use the rest of it for mine. Mint sprig! Oh, oh dear. That's lovely. Yeah, now this looks nice. This looks like a like a cocktail that you would serve a elderly oh. lady on her deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, seventh heaven. <laughs> She's on her way to Saturn. Yeah. Well, that's a, I mean, I can certainly smell the mint from here, so you really did it, did it all right by giving it a, a whack there. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to this one. So we got gin, we got grapefruit, and we got maraschino. Okay, and then a nose full of mint. Mm. It's, uh, it smells fresh, it smells spring-like. All right. Have a little uh, cheers to you, cheers. Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a whole other thing. Mm. I think that's kind of neat. I don't yeah. know if I like it, Yeah. but I like it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's sweet. Yeah. It's ginny. Mm. Oh, it's quite ginny. It's, uh, I guess the maraschino must give it a little bit of, a little bit of body, I think, because it seems to be a little thicker when you pour that Luxardo stuff. Mm-hmm. And again, it's just, they've the, got the faint taste of chocolate in there for some mm. reason. I don't know. Maybe it's the cherry. Maybe the flavor profile is diff similar, but I don't know. I got a, right. some notes of dark chocolate. Sometimes I wonder if doing this cocktail podcast for all these many years mm -hmm. <laughs> hasn't uh, connected a bunch of flavors in our head that aren't really there. Mm. If that makes sense? Mm -hmm. You go, oh, when it tastes like that, that means there's usually that and usually that. So now I taste that. Are you saying we have phantom tongue syndrome? We have phantom tongue syndrome. It's not there, but it is there. Oh my God. Your brain thinks it's there. I knew one day we would have phantom tongue syndrome. Mm. And that's why we're not doing this show <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh. So if you want to get a request in, mm -hmm. you got like three months? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Two a month. I guess you got five months. Well, that might be too long. <laughs> it might be too long. We might be.